Hello, YouTube. The Earth has a double, an exact copy of it. And not somewhere in the depths of space, but literally right next door in our solar system. Devotees, led by Kirill Butusov, an astrophysicist, professor at the St. Petersburg State University, a member of the International Association of Planetary Scientists. They have been assuring this since the late 1990s. Three years ago, I uploaded a video about this subject and Butusov's research. Please see the link in the description to this video. The copy or doppelganger was called Anti-Earth. Kirill Butusov himself gave it the name Gloria. And in response to the question, why is Gloria not visible? He explained the, explained that it shares the same orbit with the Earth, moves at the same speed, but on the, it's on the other side of the Sun, directly opposite from our planet. That's why you cannot see it. The Sun hides it. For almost 30 years, the bold hypothesis has become popular all over the world, has gained millions of supporters, but it was confirmed only very recently. Not completely, of course, but fundamentally. Visual evidence was obtained by astronomers of a large international team who worked at the Southern European Observatory in Chile. I believe the name is the European Southern Observatory. What the observatory announced in its press release is this. Theoretically, two planets of the same mass can be in the same orbit around their star, said Olga Balsalobre Ruza, an astrophysicist from the Center for Astrobiology in Spain. But no one has ever seen such a thing. We are the first. Scientists have obtained an image of the star system PDS-70, located 370 light years away from us. Previously, two planets were discovered there, PDS-70b and PDS-70c, and now it was possible to see the third one, located in the same orbit as the PDS-70b. The planets are young, perhaps in the process of formation, but they are there, and not hypothetically, but really. They orbit at about the same speed, although not quite on different sides, sides of their star, but that's for now. Moreover, the detected double anti-PDS-70b is located at one of the Lagrange points of its system, at point L5, where the gravitational interaction between the planet and the anti-planet is minimal. According to Butusov, the entire Earth could also be located at point L5 on the Earth-Sun system, but it once occupied point L3 on the other side of the Sun. For reference, there are five Lagrange points in, in the Earth-Sun system, named after the mathematician who calculated their coordinates. At this point, the gravitational forces of the Sun and our planet balance each other. So observations indicate that two planets quite get along on the same orbit, relatives, no matter how. Theory has converged with practice, and the hypothesis about Gloria was confirmed, albeit indirectly. By the way, analogs of the Sun, Earth, and entire Earth exist closer than the PDS-70. However, on a much reduced scale, this is the Saturn system. If we imagine a, the gas giant as the Sun and large satellites as planets, it turns out that two of them are in the same orbit on different sides of Saturn. Epimetheus and Janus, several times Gloria, seem to have even been seen peeking out from behind the sun. Kirill Butusov believed that it was an unknown 
celestial body near Venus, which was mentioned in their writings by European astronomers of the past, Giovanni Cassini, James Short, Johann Meyer, Joseph Louis Lagrange. I made a video about this strange object near Venus not long ago, this so-called satellite of Venus. It seems that the ancient Egyptians knew of the existence of a planet, the same as Earth, from somewhere. They knew from somewhere. Well, the panel in the tomb of Ramses VI in the Valley of the Kings depicts the sun in the form of the sun god and two identical planets on both sides of it. Scientists of ancient Egypt believed that there was nothing special about it. In their opinion, every person has an astral double, and all these copies of people are just on the planet Gloria, which itself is a double of Earth. Well, added to the many mysteries of ancient Egypt, I have discussed some and intend to present more. Gloria, from time to time, gives itself a little influence on its neighbors. Venus suddenly begins to mysteriously accelerate and Mars to slow down, or vice versa, contrary to calculations. But if you add Gloria to them, everything falls into place. The most rep remarkable thing is that with the confirmation of the hypothesis about the entire Earth, faith in aliens becomes meaningful. Yes, they are around. And all the stories about them are true. After all, our doppelganger may well be inhabited. Its place under the sun is no worse than ours, its location. And intelligent beings can live there. If so, then the aliens, they're nearby and not somewhere in the outer distance. From you know, from where you cannot get here in thousands of years, if not more. N and um, they don't care about us, and we don't seem to care about them. Well, those aliens that are so far away, but the Glorians or anti-Earthlings have been here for a long time. They're looking out for us, as ufologists assure about aliens, at least some. And what? There's no need to fly around the sun with supernatural technology, right? And we could do that if we wanted to. Let's not fantasize about what level our closest relatives in intelligence, so to say, have reached, what they might look like, whether the authorities or at least the secret services are hanging out with them. If you are cynical like me, you will assume that the heads of states contemporary, know very well about Gloria and are in touch with the aliens there. And if you are not cynical, you wholeheartedly believe in the variety show being played before your eyes with the so-called UFO disclosure in Washington. And do not ask questions why no one there talks about the Soviet secret UFO research or the Chinese experiences. You see, the Soviets, too, were interested in what or who invaded their skies decades before the current febrile activity in the United States. And they had a very interesting, at that time, top secret UFO and USO research program where their military had been involved completely. Well, that's fine. There are many options. So let's look at the objections of skeptics to the Gloria hypothesis. No spacecraft sent into deep space has ever seen Gloria. There are no pictures. There's nothing suspicious in the sense of unknown large celestial bodies. Nothing in the images, if you look at them, transmitted by uh, the space observatories observing the sun. Gloria is also visible in the James Webb uh, should be it in the uh, James Webb Space Telescope uh, derived from the L2 Lagrange point, but obviously it's not. Well, let's look at the arguments of the devotees. Not a single device 
turned its cameras in the direction of the L3 Lagrange point. Space Observatory, Stereo, Soha, SDO see the sun, but not what's behind it. From the L2 Lagrange point, where the James Webb telescope is located, the L3 point is not visible. According to Butusov's calculations, Gloria can be seen from a distance that is 15 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. But then, if you know where to look. As for Olga Balsalobra Ruza, she did a bachelor's degree in physics and master's degree in astrophysics at the Complutense University of Madrid. Her scientific research and interest is focused on exoplanets, the field in which Olga did her master's de thesis within the K-dwarfs orbited by habitable exoplanets, COBE, experiments. Currently, she is working on her PhD thesis in Troy, a project that was born aiming at detecting, for the first time, pairs of core orbital exoplanets, or exotrogens. These minor bodies remain elusive, and their existence would be an essential piece to improve our understanding on the formation and evolution of planetary systems. I am sure we will hear more about this superb young scientist from Spain. So that's what I wanted to let you know today. And I will keep bringing you interesting stories about our solar system and beyond. And views of scientists and researchers from Russia, Ukraine, Spain, China, and so forth. I don't want to forget, but I can't name all the countries. It's very interesting to see the global views. So please remember um, this channel. Please subscribe to it. Please tell others. And if you can help my research, you will see the links on how to do it in the description to this video. And thank you again for your support.